Very pleasant, a very pleasant good night, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother Eric Brexton speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of my nativity, the land of my boat, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the Blue Caribbean Sea in the month of September 2018. Brothers and sisters, was, I was watching a video on YouTube about my sister. Brothers and sisters, she is a physic medium, brothers and sisters. Um, her name is um, Abby, A B B E Y, Norman, N O R M A L. And she is talking about the Archangels Gabriel Michael, that you could contact connect with the Archangels Michael so he will come in your physic physical fears he will come in your presence and that you could um she are encouraging people to to call upon the Archangels Michael for for guidance for inspiration for protection and for wisdom and for help in the time of trouble I just want to say to my dear sister, she's, she's channel, she says she are channeling the Archangels Michael. I just want to say to you, my dear sister, no human being cannot channel the Archangels Michael. The Archangels Michael is an holy angel in heaven at the very throne of God. He's mentioned three times in the Bible, if my knowledge is correct. Once in the book of Daniel, in the book of Jude and in the book of Revelation. Though there are many other arch, um, holy angels, but the archangels Michael, the warrior angels, because he fought with Lucifer in the ninth, 12th chapter of Revelation, no one cannot channel he. Brothers and sisters, I want you all to know. So your teaching about the angels is wrong. You have it mixed up, my dear. And therefore, it is incumbent upon me, your little Christian brother, Eric Braxton, to teach you that and point out that facts to you and to others who believe in what you are teaching and others who are teaching the same thing as you. I want to let you know, my dear sister, the, Arch the Archangel Michael is a creative being and he is not only present, neither he is only seeant or he only hearant, which means he cannot see everywhere. His presence is not everywhere, and he cannot hear everywhere. He can only be in one place at a time. Just as human beings can be in one place at one time, the angels could only be in one place at the same time. I want you all to know that facts. Brother, my dear sister, you cannot channel the archangels, Michael, because you are indulging in a contradiction that you of yourself doesn't understand. And let me teach you the contradiction that you are indulging in. You claim that you are channeling the Archangels Gabriel, right? Keeping the Archangels Michael is like one individual Archangel. You, you claim that you are channeling, channeling the Archangels Michael. But there are mil millions of people, just as you in other parts of the world, claiming they are channeling the same Michael A Archangels at different time or the same time. Can that one our angels respond to all these millions of people who are channel, channeling him at the same time or different times, whether it be day or night? No, he cannot respond to none of these people because the archangels Gabriel is limited in his knowledge. He does not know everybody. Brothers, my dear sister, let me teach you something. I, Eric Braxton, your Christian brother, live in a country, Trinidad and Tobago, in the West Indies. My country is not even 10 million people. My country is only 4 point million something people. One million. But I want you to let you know that the Archangels Gabriel doesn't know everybody in Trinidad and Tobago. Much less, much less in Miami, Florida, which is 50 times bigger than Trinidad, and the population of Miami, Miami Florida, one state, may be holding about 50 million people, let to say 20 million people. So the Archangels Michael doesn't even know how much people it have in Trinidad. He doesn't know, he doesn't even know all the name of the people in Trinidad. You think you gonna know all the people in Miami, Florida? So you see right there, that's a contradiction, but you did not know that, I'm teaching you that. So you, you see, it doesn't know that you are blind to that, you are ignorant to that facts. 
because he's an individual angel. Let us say in Trinidad, let us say in my own small country, uh, let us say uh, we, we are 4 million people in my country, Trinidad and Tobago. Let us say 100, let us say 50,000 people throughout Trinidad and Tobago is calling upon the Michael, the Archangels. The Michael Archangels in heaven been able to hear these 50,000 people in my country who are calling upon him at the same time. Why? Because his, his ears is limited to the hearing. You get the message, my dear sister? But if the archangels left heaven and come down in Trinidad and Tobago, in Port of Spain, the capital of Trinidad and Tobago, and he's in the capital of Port of Spain, he will be able to hear the people around him. They are talking, they are laughing, they are walking. He will live the sea and hear these people around him. Because the sea is limited, hearing is limited. And why is the, this is as an example, and why is the Archangel Gabriel is in Port of Spain listening to the people around him in St. James and in, Port, in San Fernando? He doesn't know what is taking place down in these other districts in, in Trinidad. I want you to know that. But if he leave Port of Spain and he go down in St. James, the next district in my country, he will see the people down there talking, laughing, buying doubles, eating, going to KFC. He will listen what they're saying and monitoring them. Because he's not in every place at the same time. You catch the message? Because he's limited. Why am I using that example? I'm using that example to teach you a lesson and a principle. That is how God created the angels. And he created me and we are limited. But God the creator could hear everybody at the same time. See everybody at the same time. So whether it be a hundred trillion people up on the earth, God is able to hear all of them at the same time. See all of them at the same time. Know exactly what's what they are at the same time. Because he's only present. He's only hearing. He's only seeing. He's only putting all powerful god did not create the angels that way so you teaching people to channel the archangels michael no one cannot challenge channel he because he had the very present of god at the throne of god in heaven my dear friend my dear sister and he's unlimited angels he doesn't know everybody in my own country trinidad and tobago the human have five million people and the Archangel Gabriel is ignorant of the five million people in Trinidad and Tobago. You better believe that little my little sister. Yes, he the Archangel Gabriel doesn't know how much people it have in Trinidad and Tobago and he doesn't know all the name of the people in Trinidad and Tobago. Yes, I want you to know that. Because he's unlimited he's he's an angel, he's limited. He limited. He's a created being. Uh -huh. You didn't know that? Well, I'm teaching you that. You little Christian brother in Trinidad and Tobago. That's a wake up call to you all. To you. Well, I have more to teach you. But I'm teaching you gradually. So you will understand that God is different to the angels. And the angels is different to God. It's God who created the angels. Teach people to call upon God, not the angels. If you want the archangel, if you want God the angels to assist you, pray to God. And if God see it fit to send any of the angels to help you, he will do that. But don't go to the angels directly. Go to God. This is the teaching of the scriptures. Because from Genesis to Revelation, there's no text in the Bible that tell us to go directly to any of God's angels. The God said to come to he. Because he created mankind and the universe and the angels. And when you go directly to God in prayer and in your supplication, Right? And you ask God for any angelic assistant. If God see it fit to send any of the angels, he will send the angels. But you are teaching the wrong thing. You left out, you kick God aside and telling people going straight to the to the angels. Well, you wouldn't be going to the right angels. You'll be going to the evil angels instead of the, the good angels, the holy like holy angels. The Bible teaches us to go to God first because he's the creator. He created the angels. Not go to the archangels Gabriel first. You go to God the Creator first. My dear sister, I want you to know that. So any of those people who see this video and you know this know my this physic medium or um what was it what is the name? Um Um Abel um A A B A B A B B E Y normal N O R N A L normal Please make contact with her and let her know that I, Eric Braxton, have recorded a video 
because I've watched her video and I'm commenting and I'm teaching her the facts of how God created the angels so that she should see this video and appreciate what I have done. So I want her to, to, to abandon that false teaching, these new age philosophies, these occult concepts, these age, a, new age ideas that she have, which is total contrary to the Bible. And she need to get a Bible, the original King James Bible, and began reading it from Genesis to Revelation. Now the first step, this second, second step, she needs to find a, 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 a believing church, a believing Christian church in a, in a district that observes Saturday as the Sabbath day. Go introduce herself to the saints the pastor, repair her study with them, whether it be on a Thursday or Friday Bible studies. She needs to give her life to Jesus Christ, repent of her sins, all her false philosophies and false ideas about the angels she have. She needs to dump that in the garbage dump. In the dumpster and start believing what the scriptures teach so she will have a true knowledge about the angels now what the scriptures teach and a true knowledge of god and she needs to give her life to christ and go and teach about the gospel of the kingdom of god and not to go and teach people to, to channel the archangels michael because nobody cannot channel the archangels michael because millions of people calling upon the angels Michael and the archangels Gabriel is not he the angels Michael Gab the angels Michael is not even here in them a matter of fact he doesn't even know they exist because he doesn't know them in the first place I want you all to know that yes you think the, the archangels Gabriel know everybody that exists upon this earth no 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 God know everybody that, that exists upon the earth. A matter of fact, if God sent the archangels Gabriel long in Trinidad, the archangels Michael long in Trinidad now, right? He will be seeing people that he never see before. Uh-huh. Because he didn't even know that they exist. But he of course he is conscious that each country is of people. He's conscious about that. He's conscious about the human family. But all the babies that are born in, 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 in the in the Port of Spain, General Hospital, in my country, Trinidad and Tobago, the Archangel Angels Gabriel is ignorant to all of them. He doesn't even know how much children born in Trinidad and Tobago for the year 2018. But if he do the study, he will know how much children born in Trinidad and Tobago. But you think the Archangels Gabriel they never know that? He's ignorant of that. And the children that is born in Trinidad and Tobago for the year 2019. The Archangels Gabriel doesn't, doesn't know none of them. But he know children is being born in all country. But to say all the children that is born in Trinidad and Tobago for the year 2019, the Archangels Gabriel know any of them? He is ignorant. He doesn't know none of them. But if he come down in Trinidad and he go in the hospital, yes, he will see this child born. He will, he will, know, he will hear the mother giving him a name. And if he check in the record, he will know well how much children was born in the different district and thing, if you go in all the different hospital health centers and the, then he will get that information but in heaven where he is he know that taking place down here no he does he i mean he actually know the names of the children no what he what he is conscious of is that children is born in all over the in each country and they're keeping the record because they know there's doctors and the children born the record in the name he have that knowledge but in heaven with that he is he's not seeing that but he's conscious of that. Just like in America, I know in all the hospitals in America, there all the children that is being born, they are recording and recording them, taking the pictures, they have the record of that. But am I seeing that in Trinidad? No, I have the consciousness of that. But if I actually leave Trinidad and go there, I will see that with my eyes. But in Trinidad, I'm not seeing the actual children who are born in the hospital. Well, it's the same way the Archangels gave it in Michael. The Archangels, um, Michael is in heaven. The children are being born in the hospital. He's not seeing them, but he's conscious that that is taking place. I'm saying that he is limited in that aspect. That's as I'm limited in that aspect because that is how God created us, my dear brothers and sisters. But but if there's a million, if there's a trillion, this is as an example. All the children that is born in all over the world, at the same time, God knows exactly where they're born and He knows all of them because He made them. That's the difference between God and the angels. I want you to know that, my dear, brother, my dear sister. I want you to know that, my dear sister. And I am teaching you that. So, Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon because I don't want to go over the limited time in this video. Bye-bye. See you in the next video soon. Bye-bye, my friends.